hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn all about migration okay so what is migration in laravel and how and what it is used for so guys basically migration is used for creating your database tables that is schemas so now guys let's get started so let's move to our editor so now guys first step we need to check our database is connected or not so that we can check in our dot env file and here is the database name so guys make sure you are connected and so guys here you see i have already created the database and migrated the all the tables into our database so now guys let's move back so guys if you want to migrate like if you have created a fresh database just run the php artisan migrate command to migrate all the tables so right now we have already done the migration and now guys let's run this artisan command here php artisan migrate hit enter so here you'll see nothing to migrate right now because already all the tables are migrated so you can see that database migration and inside that migration you have all your table names okay let me just zoom it so it will be more clear so now guys let us create one new table so how to create a migration in laravel so guys just run this command php artisan make colon migration then your table name so guys to create a table you have some prefix in the starting and ending like create underscore this is a mandatory and then you give your table name for example let's take a products table so products the table name it's always going to be plural not singular okay so now let's add underscore table so these are the two prefix that is the create and the table starting and ending and in between your table name it's going to come so now guys let's hit enter and here you see your migration is created successfully so now you can find that in the database migration and here you see your table name that is create products table let's open that file and you will find that uh, our schema is already created here in the up method or function okay so here you see schema colon create and your products table name it is given and now guys let us do with the how to add columns for this products table so you just need to follow this like dollar table of um, let's take a string which is going to be a varchar and here product name so you can directly type the name and now guys let's add a description and a simple price price and for this description it's going to be a text type okay so you can add a text or if you want you can add a medium text also like medium text so guys we are going to just keep the text here and then price is going to be an integer so you can keep integer and now guys finally a stock let's add for this like how many stocks are left out so you can keep as integer and now guys let us give this description uh, column name as null so here you can just add nullable function to make that column as null like when you insert any record so it's it is not going to be mandatory part so for that you can just add null here so guys if you want to add more column like you have a date of birth or gender or many uh, column field names so for that you can just add all this types so let me just show you so inside your uh, laravel 10 documentation here you can see that available column types which is shown here so these many uh, column name attributes you can use inside your migration files for example you see if you want to use a date like date of birth so you can use this date function and if you are using a pricing with the decimal you can use this double float and many things so you have all this foreign id foreign id for which it is uid and many things guys okay so you can utilize that so for example let's see here dob that is date of birth which is going to be a format of date okay so let me control x and let's continue guys and now guys let us migrate this table into our database so for that just run the command php artisan migrate hit enter so here you see running migration and migrated so now let's move to our database refresh so you'll find that products table 
cool so here you see guys we have a products table done so now guys this is how we create a table using migration in laravel so now guys let us see about how to add new column into this products table i want to add one more column name to this product table like is active or not okay so for that you can use a migration command to add that so php artisan make migration and now guys we are going to add new columns into our table so we have a prefix in the beginning of the command so you have to use add underscore then specify the column name if it is one means or else you can directly tell like i want to add details to products table so how you can do that let us still add details to underscore products underscore table so here you are specifying that i am going to add more details about to the products underscore table okay so here you have to mention the correct table name then it will understand and create a migration okay so if you want to like if you are not sure about this the table name here so you can use another format like just use a flag like hyphen hyphen table equal to then double quotes inside that you can mention the exact table name so here you can copy this and paste it and it is not mandatory here if you want to give like double quotes you can remove the double quotes also and now guys what i am going to do instead of writing details add details to products i am going to add one new column that is is active so you can mention that also like is active so it will be more clear to understand why you have created this a migration file here so let's hit enter and you see that we have created a migration successfully so let's see so go to your migration folder and then you see that we have specified the products table and now let us add the new column is active dollar table it is actually a boolean like i need just true or false give your column name is active and by default i want to give true value okay assign one and then let me add a comment here comment function like zero equal to hidden one equal to visible okay so which means active or inactive and now guys you need to add this column name in the down function whenever you roll back your migration it should roll back this column also from your products table so for that you can just use this dollar of drop column that's it so inside this column name you have to specify whatever we have added here okay so now guys let's save and let's migrate this file so php artisan migrate hit enter so here you see you, uh, it's telling that we have migration is done so let's get back and if you refresh here you see that uh, we have the is active column name with the comment whatever we have added and default also will be shown so let me just go to the structure here is active is over here now okay and default value is one so now guys one more thing i just wanted to teach you about how to uh, add this is active column after the name description or after this talk so right now i have added directly so it's appended in the last column okay last row of the table so now guys let me show you with another example um let's go to our products table here so i just want to add a small description or original price about it so what we'll do let's like php artisan make colon migration i want to add new two columns so add underscore this is a prefix uh, i have to add two columns that is small description and original price of it so you can tell like details to mention your table name so that is products underscore table okay so if you are giving a correct name products then you don't have to specify the flag of table hyphen hyphen table equal to the products name okay so just remove and now guys let's hit enter and here you see you see that a new file is generated migration and you can add the column field names but i want to to add those columns after the description okay not 
uh, add at the last as we have seen this is active is added at the last so for that you can just uh, get back to your migration file add this add details to product so first step dollar table and use after function and here you mention what column you have to add those remaining columns so i will copy this description column name and get back and paste here so after this description column let me add a function because i need to get that the table variable so dollar table table open and close curly brace okay and you can use that dollar table here and add the column field names medium text function which is going to be a small description and it is nullable also nullable function and guys let's add one more column for the price so dollar table of integer column which is for the original price o r i g i n a l underscore price and you can give as nullable option okay and when you are adding a new column into the table make sure you are adding in the down function to remove those columns also so for that use a dollar table of drop column function and what is the column name small description copy and paste and your original price okay let's save it and now guys let's migrate this so run the command php artisan migrate hit enter okay so it's migrated now just refresh so here you see it's not added at the last instead it is added after the description you see that small description and original price then your price stock and everything comes so i have taught you about how to add the new columns after specific column names okay so so now guys let's start with the migration commands so one of the migration you know that php artisan migrate which is migrating your tables into your database and to create the migration it's just about php artisan make migration and your migration name okay and then guys now we are going to see how we can roll back the migration just do with php artisan migrate colon roll back okay so now you see what happens here hit enter so it just roll back so now let me see just go to your laravel tutorials and refresh and here you see you have the products table but you'll be missing some columns okay because it is rolling back last migration okay and if you want to roll back like of three of migration how will you know that so whenever you do migration it just adds as a batch file so first let us remigrate this php artisan migrate hit enter it's migrated and you'll be able to find those columns okay small description original price and now let me just show you in the migrations table so here we have a migration table and inside this you see batch batch numbers so inside this batch so on the first migration like php artisan migrate you see that first four tables were migrated and on the second migrate it is products table is migrated on the third fourth batch add details to products is migrated so whenever you do php artisan migrate colon roll back it rolls the last migration file okay so now guys i want to roll how many batches like you can see like i want this three batch so it is one two three so what you have to do just run this command php artisan migrate colon roll back how many batches last three batches so you can just give hyphen hyphen step equal to three now hit enter so here you see three migration files from the last it is rolled back so now if you try to refresh the database and you see there don't find any products table okay and now guys let us migrate php artisan migrate so if you hit enter now so it is going to understand as one batch migrating the three migration files so let's migrate now here you see that three files are migrated at one batch so 
if we go in migration so here you see all the batch number two with the same three migration files so now if you refresh you will find the products table also which is over here and now guys let us see with another migration command is about a reset so reset means it's all about getting down all the your tables from the database so php artisan migrate colon reset hit enter so here you see that all the tables are taken out so let's go back refresh so here you find no tables in your database except the migration so let's get back and now let me migrate so php artisan migrate so you see that it is migrated all the tables and you'll be finding all the tables here cool and now guys there is one another command that is about refresh so instead of reset you are using refresh so what does refresh do so it rolls back all the table and re migrate all the tables okay so it downs and push it also so let me just show you let me so hit enter so here you see rolling back and running migration so it drops it and adds it okay okay so guys this is all about the laravel migration and if you want to go in depth like what column should be created and i can just show you here uh, in this name i want to give a 500 so it makes the length of that varchar to 500 so if you want to go in depth of the migration please go through the laravel documentation so guys in this video that's it and if you want to read about cedars or foreign key relationships in this laravel migration please follow my blog post which i have written link is given in the description okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share